Hey, what up everyone? This is Mondo all day back with another video and in this video I'll be showing you my build guide for Hulk Again, I'll be going over which artifacts I use which insignias which medallions as well as go over my powerpoints where I placed them My omegas and hero synergies and at the very end I'll be going over my rotation and how I was able to pass Cosmo Child with Hulk with this build guide keep in mind I use roughly around 3,000 omegas so again this is not this is just a build guide to show you that you don't have to have fully maxed out omegas to pass the cosmic trial uh, again i'll be going at the i'll be going over at the very end my rotation as well as give you some pointers and some tips on how to utilize you know hulk and be more effective when playing with hulk and specifically with this with this uh build guide so let's get right into it so the artifacts i used i use shield metal of uh, valor uh due to the fact that it gives you critical hit rating deflect rating defense damage rating and critical damage rating then I use Scroll Nick's Fury's eye patch for the damage rating to bosses, defense rating, and health. And then I'm using Curse Medallion for the damage rating, critical hit rating, and brutal strike rating to melee attacks. Ultra by level concussion projector due to the fact that it gives you 1214 brutal damage rating, that's 1214. And then damage rating with, versus enemies with slow status. And then I'm using Mayhem Demon Blood for the physical damage rating, the health, and then a 10 stack. Now, personally, if I were to change some stuff right right away, I would definitely change probably Shield of Shield Metal of Valor, Valor, excuse me, Valor, Valor. Um, yes, it's doable because it gives you critical damage rating. But personally, I would probably use either White Suit Jacket or Hyde's Formula because of um, his buffs. He's very strong as is, and he has a lot of buffs. So when utilizing like for instance, uh, hides from hides from formula artifact, which gives you a buff. It's gonna just even do massive damage. So again, I probably wouldn't use this artifact, but it does justice. And I mean, I was able to pass Cosmic Child, so hey, it does its job. For uniques, I did use all of his except for one. His, his slot one unique. I use Scrolls Mighty Hammer. I'm using it because it gives you critical hit rating, critical damage rating, the six percent damage to bosses physical damage rating obviously the extra health and so forth but mainly more importantly is because this there's two things um you have to re-roll it to get that 100 percent um what i mean by that the power points so for instance this gives you plus three points to all your powers which is useful it's good but it also gives you plus six ranks to all your melee powers now why am i bringing this up is because if you combine both of them the all powers and melee powers that's nine and so with this build all of his moves are all melee except for yeah except for knuckle duster which is an area but everything else it's melee so combining this these two the with this with, well, with this particular artifact combining the power points it gives you which is nine um gamma strike is right now current rank 20 with this alone you're looking at 29 right off the bat so that's why i'm using this particular artifacts so this is very useful because i used to have a bunch of these and i just didn't really like them but then i started looking into it and it's a pretty useful artifact so if you have this artifact definitely use it for your melee characters like captain america um deadpool if you have a melee build winter soldier if you have a melee build colossus wolverine x23 the list goes on and on but again this is the reason why i'm using this particular unique for slot one is because it gives you those two up uh, um, power points and then for the ring, I'm using Industrial City for physical powers. Uh, might not be the best. I would probably use the one that gives you for the male extra damage to melee powers, but physical powers is fine. Um, for costume, I'm using grade one through four critical damage rating. And for the core, I have it to where I get 1,243 physical defense rating, plus one durability, and plus one fighting. It, if you had a core that gave you Possibly the same plus one durability or fighting or strength, but it gave you, you know, the typical when you use a medicate, you get 3,000 health and 100 spirit or anger in this case. If you have that core, they'll be ideal. If not, it's okay. Um, insignia, I'm using Insignia of Natasha for when you, criti when you critically hit, you and your allies gain 302 damage rating versus unaware targets. It's decent, but I'm mainly using this because it gives me. 634 critical damage rating and then dam uh, 229 damage rating to melee powers and then for the pet i have it to where i take two percent less damage from um, enemy area powers three percent increase to critical damage rating and then plus two strength 
forged. I have the defense, and it's blessed. It gives me 2% attack speed, plus 1 strength, and then extra damage rating to melee powers. I wanted that actually, the main reason I'm using this is because of the speed, because he is a bit of a tank. He is a bit slow, so having the extra speed does help out a little bit. Now for legendary, I'm using Savage Axe for the physical damage rating, critical hit rating, brutal, brutal strike rating, and brutal damage rating. And for team up, I am using She-Hulk. All right, so let's get into the powers. Um, left to right, top to bottom. Gamma Strike, max that out. Um, Unbridled Rampage, max that out. That's the passive. 6-2 uh, Demolishing um, Charge. Creative Stomp, max that out. Uh, Headbutt, max that out. Hulk Tough, uh, that's a passive, 19. Uh, Thunderous on hand clap, that's signature, max it out. Uh, oh, I think I said that already. Uh, the, the roar, one there. Um, and then meter strike, max that out. And then knuckle duster, max it out. Power points, again, roughly around 3000 omegas, give or take, as you can see here. Uh, neural enhancement, one for technical neural implant for the plus 30 critical. Oh, because it gives you the critical damage rating and the melee um, critical hit rating. Arcane Team of Nothing, Interstellar Exploration, one for Earth for the extra base damage, and then cost reduction to Spirit, or Anger in this case. Um, Hella, one there for the damage rating to physical attacks, brutal strike rating, and critical hit rating. Physical powers, and then Sakaar for the uh, extra deflect rating and melee damage rating. Special weapons, nothing. Mutation. Uh, obviously, two, two to Warpath for the fighting, and then one for Frenzy for when you hit with the melee power, you gain critical damage rating. Um, I usually always you pick these three for melee characters, but Harpy one there, A-Bomb, and then Lyra, all one. A-Bomb for when you hit with melee power, you have a chance to get invisible. Harpy, you get critical hit rating and brutal strike rate melee, and Lyra gives the other stuff too, so... Spin tick, three there for the damage rating to bosses. Human augmentation, one for death lock program for the physical damage rating, and then one for reaver program for the base physical damage. Psionics, three to melt face for the brutal damage rating, and then focus strength of groom for the plus seven strength. M molecular adjustment, one for terogenesis, for, for it gives you plus one durability, plus one speed and strength. Um, you want that speed. I mean, I know this is expensive, but I want the reason why I'm chosen is because one, it gives you durability, which gives you your defense rating and your health. Uh, another, because of the plus one strength. Obviously, he's all physical power, so strength would be beneficial. But I'm using this mainly for the speed because he is slow. Um, he is, well, obviously, Hulk is, is a tank. I mean, look at his size. But um, he is a tank, so having the extra speed does help out. So this is perfect because it, all these three. Will definitely benefit him, so hence why I chose that. And that's that. Hero synergy, Colossus for the extra health and physical damage. Electra for the physical damage and damage to bosses. Hawkeye for the speed again and critical damage. Luke Cage for the total defense rating and physical damage. Uh, Moon Knight for the critical rating to physical powers. Nightcrawler for the melee damage. Taskmaster for the total deflect rating and dodge. Um, then for critical damage and melee powers. Um, more machine for the anger. Not really useful, but plus one fighting. Wolverine for the brutal strike and brutal damage. And then X-23 for the bleeding. Now let's get to the good stuff. This build is pretty simple. I like this uh, costume, by the way. This build is pretty simple. Um, again, there's two. There's almost like I don't want to say three, but technically speaking, well, technically speaking, there's three rotations. But you two, you you have one main one, and then you have another one rotation where it's like once your cooldowns are your power, your cooldown powers are reset already, and then you have another rotation with all your with ultimate as well too. Sounds scary, it's not, but I'll just go over how to how I. I'll just go over it and kind of explain it to you how it works. So the way I have it set up is I have Gamma Strike. I use that a lot. Advanced Sleep. Use it once in a while. Uh, Catering Stomp. Headbutt. 
Duster, Hand Clap, and then Signature or Meteor Strike. Now, the way I do my rotation is pretty simple. Let's go over here. It's like this. I usually, if I'm going to an enemy, let's say they're doing, there's a bunch of enemies here, and then what I usually do is I use Advanced Sleep to get to where I want to go. Right after I do that, I do Catering Stomp. You want to use this because when you use Kettering Stomp, what it does is it pulls enemies towards you. And you want that because when you do that, then you can use Headbutt. Headbutt is bleed. So you want that as well too because when you do st Stomp and then your enemies come to you, towards you and then you, you do Vicious Headbutt, you not only do you do damage, but you also cause them to bleed. Hence why we use that PowerPoint right here for X23, extra damage to bleeding. So you want that. So that's my that's again that's my first rotation is headbutt and the right after headbutt just do gamma strike. So again, advance leap to get to where you want to go. And then after that, do stomp to bring the enemies towards you, and then do headbutt a couple of times, and then just do gamma strike. So it looks something like this. And then again. There you go. Okay, that's my first rotation. Um, ideally, you want to have your anger up. One quick way to have your anger up is if you have um, Hulk fast. If you just keep walking, you see, he just builds up automat um, easily. So again, just just show you. So again, leap, stomp, headbutt, and then strike. first rotation now the second rotation as mentioned is using the same thing but this is when you use your cooldowns now here's a trick what you want to do is you want to first have your angle full up once your angles feel a full up then you want to use your quick ro your rotation once hand clap and then signature and then when you do that it resets your cooldowns, these two, which resets dusters and strike. I mean, hand clap, excuse me, and then you can do it again. So, and it sounds confused, it's kind of long, but again, build up your anger. Once it's up, do activate knuckle duster, then do your quick the first rotation I showed you, which is sleep, stomp, headbutt, gamma strike one. These are all just do all once because we only have a few seconds. After that, do hand clap, or after that, do signature right away. And what that does is resets these two right here, which is duster and hand clap. When that happens, then activate duster, hand clap, and just do your first rotation. Sounds confusing. It's kind of crazy, but I'll go over it right now. So for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to activate these buffs because these give you crowd immunity, but also activates anger. Some of it, not the whole thing. Remember, we're going to run. I'm just showing this just for right now for this for this guide. Once this is activated, do it again. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna do buster. First rotation. Signature. Look, it's gonna reset it. Activate buster again. And there's an the enemy here. Do it again. Hand clap. And then just do massive damage again. Boom, just like that's that that's my second rotation and you want this because again when you activate duster it gives you a buff we gives you it's a buff and it gives you critical hit rating deflect rating you're immune to crowd and this is buff duration is eight seconds so you have to do this quickly so as soon as you activate duster right away do your rotation which is leap stomp head above and strike once and then do your hand clap because this is one of his I think I think that's a signature right yeah that's a signature and once you do that, do signature, and as you saw right now, it resetted both duster and signature, and then we activate it again. Knuckle duster, and then do your first rotation quickly, and then do hand clap again, and boom, you're gonna do massive damage. The only downside with this with Meteor Strike is it's a one minute cooldown, which takes a long time. But look at the amount of damage, the smash damage, which is almost a mil it's over a million. So again, this is very, very powerful, and so if you do it like this with this rotation, you're going to do massive damage. 
And not only that too, if you have artifacts, they give you an extra buff, like extra damage, you're gonna just do even more. Meaning if you have like, for instance, if I had Mayhem Demon Blood's um, perk, you know, the 10 stack, you, give, you gain you know two fighting, two speed. If I had that active going on, just imagine the amount of damage I, I was, I, mean, I would do if I did this rotation. You know, with the one I just did right now. Now, if you had a different artifact, let's say replace this artifact with, you know, Hyde's formula, and you know, well, I'll just kind of I'll show you what I mean. But if I had that particular artifact on here, this one right here, which gives you brutal strike, brutal damage rating, but when you use a med kit, you gain extra damage rating and defense rating. If you combine that with this particular artifact, the Hyde's formula, with Mayhem Demon Blood, with this buff the knuckle duster you can just imagine the amount of damage you're going to do now going with that and i said like i said there's three rotations the third rotation would be the exact same thing i just mentioned right i just did which was activate duster activate your first rotation which is leap stomp headbutt and then gamma strike and then do hand clap and then signature and then again the third rotation would be doing that all of that but doing it with the ultimate because ultimate gives you a buff um it's a the buff duration is 21 seconds so you have a lot longer time but if you can do ultimate first then do the second rotation which is activate duster leap catering stomp headbutt gamma strike hand clap signature and then do duster leap stomp headbutt strike and hand clap all within the time of when the is ultimate is activated, you can just imagine the amount of damage you're gonna do. And if you had those buff, which was Hyde's formula with the artifact I just showed you, and if I had Demon Blood, Mayhem Demon Blood's um, perk artifact that gives you two fighting, if I had all that activated at the same time with ultimate, you're just gonna do huge, huge damage with Hulk. So again, Hulk is a little bit different melee. I know some people don't like him, but once you understand the concept of like, you, you have to, utilize his powers in a certain way uh, meaning that you have to use his strongest powers when you have certain buffs activated and if you have a lot of buffs activated he's going to be beast i mean i was able to pass cosmic trial with this with this decent build i mean i would definitely not use this use hides formula keep this maybe replace scroll nick's furry's eye patch with something else uh, possibly with um the kevlar Probably this one right here. Um, not because it doesn't give you range. It doesn't have any range. Not that I know of, right? No. But more importantly, when you critically hit, you get three fighting for five seconds. That's another perk too. So if you had other artifacts that give you those kind of perks, like the extra fighting or strength or something like that, um, with this third rotation that mentions you with ultimate and so forth, again, Hulk is going to do massive, massive damage. And it's only using 3,000 Omegas. So you can imagine... The amount of damage he would do if he had all these buff activated and if he did this rotation he's just going to do massive damage so again he plays a little differently he's not your typical melee character where he's just strong or melee tank like colossus um he's more of like if you have a lot of buffs activated and you play and you understand a little bit how his um his powers work he's just going to do massive damage so i know he's a bit different it sounds kind of complicating but trust me, you just got to play with it. I've I, When I first started playing with Hulk, I didn't really like him because I thought he was, I don't know, kind of weak, kind of boring. But once I got a fully understanding how he plays, how he's kind of built, um, and I, with this build that I have, it's, he's pretty fun. Um, but do I play with him often? Once in a while I do. Um, but again, once you understand how he works and the buffs work, he becomes a bit easier to understand. But more importantly, he becomes more, more fun and more enjoyable to play with. And that is it. That is that is my build guide for Hulk. Um, again, um, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. If you have any requests for certain characters, please feel free to, you know, leave it in the comment section below. Um, any feedback on this build? Again, let me know. I'm open. Um, I am not an expert or professional. I'm just kind of giving you know you guys my advice for kind of showing you my build for to pass Cosmic Trial with Hulk with using around 3,000 Omegas. Um, I would definitely, if you have more than 3,000 Omegas and if you use the same exact build with Hulk, I'm pretty sure you can easily pass um, Cosmic Trial. I think I passed Cosmic Trial with them when I had 5,000 Omegas. 
with uh, not not as strong as these artifacts, and I was able to pass it so with this particular build and setup. Except I didn't use this; I had something else. So yeah, that is my build guide for Hulk. Any questions? Again, leave it in the comment section below. Uh, if you want to see more videos or more new videos, please subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it. It does support the channel a lot. And yeah, that is it. Thanks.